Thanks for watching our video. Today we're going to be introducing you to the Allet Sterling 43 and 51. This is about the highest level of mowing for the home lawn, but also for bowling greens and for cricket wickets. This is not just about lawn mowing, but this is about lawn maintenance systems. And we will be talking about that in more detail. So hello, my name's Austin Jarrett and I'm from Allet Mowers. These two mowers are for the absolute lawn enthusiast where no compromise is actually the only option. Where battery power is really important, we'll talk about the environmental benefits of doing that, uh, and where cultivations are done very regularly on your lawn and we can get a really quick cartridge change to go from cylinder mowing to verticutting and all of these other functions in less than 15 seconds and that means that I could be mowing and then verticutting in no time at all and it really isn't a chore to switch from mowing to cultivations. You're also able to go for deeper cultivations within this mowing and cultivation system than we've ever been able to do before and that is really important again for the absolute lawn enthusiast that really knows what he's doing. By using these cultivation systems, we're so much more able to maintain a high quality lawn without the use of a lot of chemicals, especially when it comes to weed control. Of course you've got to remember that cylinder mowing is absolutely the best way to maintain a lawn. It really is this scissor cut that we get from the cylinder mower which creates the best possible chance for the plant to be as healthy as possible and that is absolutely proven and that is why you use cylinder mowers on golf courses and sports surfaces rather than the machete action of a rotary mower. We have a video on that for the comparison of cylinder versus rotary mower and you do need to have a look at that if, you, if you're not quite sure what it is that I'm talking about. But that, that video should be really helpful to help you make the choice and to whether cylinder mowing is what you really want to do. The cartridges are the big thing on this product. Allet are known for the cartridges and if you want a great lawn you need to do more than cylinder mow and that's why we have this range of cartridges which are so easily inserted into this product in particular to be able to give us uh, just the most amazing lawn over time. The other thing is when we designed this product we said the customers that have already invested within our system here and have bought either a Liberty 43, a Kensington 17 or a Kensington 20 and you've invested in this cartridge range, you will be able to at a small charge just to make a little bit of a conversion on your existing cartridge and then it will fit into this product uh, and give you the great results that you're used to and you'll get the benefits of the depths that this product will be able to deliver. So we're hoping that those of you that have already invested in, in our premium products will be able to invest in this but not have to spend all the money on the new cartridges. So we, we hope that really helps. The two products, the Sterling 51 is a 20 inch machine or 51 centimeters. The Sterling 43, as you would expect, 43 centimeters and 17 inches. The weights are, with batteries, with grass boxes, 57 kilos and also 53 kilos. So these machines have good weights and of course that is so important for getting the really great striping. This is not a machine that you're going to pick up easily to go up and down steps. Uh, but what you are able to do is you can reduce very quickly 13 kilograms by removing the battery, removing the cartridge and then that makes that much more easy to move around if you want to do that because the cartridge is so quickly and easily removable then uh, that, that isn't a problem but just bear that in mind. If we start at the very front of the machine you'll notice uh, that we have 
change the way that we are manufacturing the grass box. Uh, we hear a lot from customers that they want a lighter grass box so you're not having to carry all that weight around to empty it into the wheelie bin or wherever. So we've reduced the weight. It's a steel frame and material. The material's got apertures in it so it allows air throw and we're getting much better grass box fill by using this because the air is separated out and doesn't blow back out of the grass box in the same way as it does out of a plastic or metal construction. It's also very quiet. Some of our competitors use metal grass boxes which rattle and drum as you mow and increase the noise levels. And because we're using electric drive, all of these noise things we needed to knock off to make sure that we got the quietest possible mower. So we're getting great grass box fill like we've never achieved before. And this just clips directly onto the chassis of the mower and there's no grass box hoop or anything separate from that. And it's really, really stable. For emptying, there's no lips around the grass box here, so the grass box can empty, even if it, at its fullest, straight out into the wheelie bin. And that's no shaking, which is great. If we start at the front of the mower and work our way backwards, then of course the very front is the roller. On the roller, we have a steel roller galvanized for rust protection and we've also got a scraper so the reason for the scraper is if particularly you're building up a worm cast it starts to alter your height of cut so by having setting the scraper down uh, in these two slots here i can set my scraping so that that doesn't happen uh, if it's starting to become a problem and a lot of the time of the year i don't need that scraper that scraper is really easily removed Behind the scraper is a feature that a lot of Alec customers really enjoy, and that is the lawn comb. The lawn comb rakes through the grass as you're mowing. You can independently set the depth at which it rakes. That lines up all the grass, and that gives two advantages. One, I get a nicer, cleaner cut because the grass is presented to the bottom blade so much more neatly, but also striping is all about having the plants all nicely lined up so that as you roll them down, they're rolling directly away from you or directly towards you. So it does help in the striping and how long that stripe lasts. If we get caught out with grass length, you know that one of the big things about a cylinder mower is it's really good at cutting short grass shorter. If the grass gets away from you and becomes quite long, the front roller rolls down the grass before the cylinder can actually get chance to, uh, to grab it and cut it. So what we are able to do is optional extra, sorry not optional extra but included in the box is a pair of wheels and these wheels uh, replace the roller so I can undo the screw on either side and just put the wheel kit on instead and that just opens up the front entry of the machine so that the grass can go in and if it's long although it's not perfect because that's not what a cylinder mow is for what it does allow you to do is just get back in control of the grass as well if you don't have a rotary mower. The cutting cylinder of course is the business end of this machine. With electric drive the machine becomes so quiet that we felt that we needed to do something about getting much more accurate adjustment of the cylinder and bottom blade and we've put in a new system which we call the shore blade and the shore blade is going to give us a much flatter much more easily adjustable cylinder to bottom blade at the same time give very little contact to make the machine quieter than ever before but still give us the assurance of being able to cut paper or of course cut grass as cleanly as we can for best plant health. So to remove the cylinder, uh, it's quite simple. And what you are able to see now is this much thicker, much more durable blade system, which allows us to have much less contact for much quieter mowing. Uh, but at the same time, this blade is gonna be much less disturbed by sticks. I'm not gonna say stones, but it's gonna make this blade system much more durable, much more easy to set, and therefore much more quiet. And we think that this in the Sterling in particular is going to give us absolutely world-beating product against all of our competitors.
So that's the shore blade system. That gives us a very significant advantage over the competitors. The other thing which is absolutely critical for the lawn enthusiast that wants to be able to switch from mowing to different cartridges, it needs to be quicker and easier than we've ever had before. And that takes us down to the new Ultra Change system. Ultra Change, we just had to think of something that sounded quicker than our existing Quick Change system, and this is what it's all about. So the cartridges very simply drop into the machine, and without any tools, I'm able to just lock that in. So if you want to give uh, me a bit of a test here, let's just do a time trial from taking that cylinder completely out and putting that back in again. Here we go. And we're ready to mow. The next feature on this product is about really accurate height of cut. And the height of cut is just adjusted on this hand wheel at the side, which lifts and lowers the front roller in the way that we've always done. But in particular, our customers have been asking for much more clear indication of our height of cut. And so on the scale at the side here, we have the one scale on this side, which gives us to the millimeter our height of cut when we have our cylinder in and then on the other side when we put our cultivation cartridges in it will show us what depth we're working at with those cartridges. So we call this the height right system and we really do believe your height will always be right. Mowing heights with the six bladed cylinder are adjustable minimum height of cut five millimeters that's just on the quarter of an inch to a maximum height of cut of 50 millimeters which is two inches. Cultivations you can adjust down to 10 millimeters to give us this additional amount of cultivation if we choose to use it and the time is right and that is of particular advantage when cultivating trying to reduce some of our weeds. We're using the Ego 56 volt battery platform with the Sterling. Within the battery bay, there is a switch which just allows us to remove the battery from the battery bay. The battery comes in several different energy levels. The machine is intended to come with a five amp hour battery but there are also 7.5 amp hour and 10 amp hour batteries that you can get for this machine. Their keep cool technology is particularly important to us, not only for working in warmer climates than, than in the UK, but also um, just because if you're working this machine really hard, then the battery needs to stay cool. That inserts into the battery bay just by clicking it in and the other beauty with this battery system is that it has an indicator here. I can just press the button and I can see how full the battery is. But the nice thing about that is once it's in its location and I'm operating from the mower, my eye line looks directly at the battery indicator. And while the battery is being used, that indicator is constantly alight and I don't have to have separate dials on my machine. I'm just using each individual battery and its own inbuilt indicator so I know what the charge level is. The battery, of course, is all about sustainable lawns. Sustainability because there's no petrol. I don't have to go and fetch it in my car. I don't need to store it. There are issues in some uh, countries, uh, and particularly here in the UK, we're now using E10 fuel and that definitely with its water absor absorption does create starting problems and even running problems. So we think that the E10 fuel introduction in small garden machinery uh, and small plant is actually uh, really pushing us all to the battery system. It's just going to give us such greater reliability and none of these starting problems that we've now become quite used to. So sustainability, no fuel, uh, the system is just so much quieter, quieter than we've ever produced before. Uh, it's cheaper to run to go for a recharge on this battery than it is to be, uh, to be buying fuel. Uh, the alternative on electric, of course, is to have cables, which are always very difficult to manage, particularly in a bigger garden, so we don't have any of that. 
and uh, we can build in so much more control and I'm going to talk about the control that we've built in when we get to the handlebars of the system. And electric as well is just so much better balanced that the handlebars aren't vibrating and causing problems with, uh, with our hands, whether it be vibration, white, white finger or, or, or um, really causing our uh, arthritis to feel worse next day. At end of life, of course, us and our retailers are participating in battery take-back schemes as well. So you can just send this straight back to the people you bought this from and they'll process this battery in the way that's necessary. The charging of these batteries, a uh, standard charger for a 5 amp hour battery like this, will take about 100 minutes to recharge. There are also rapid chargers as well, and the rapid charger will charge this in 40 to 50 minutes, which is pretty much the time it takes to discharge the battery. Next I want to talk about the rear roller. So we've done some special work on the rear roller. Uh, normally on an electric drive system, when you push or pull the roller, the mower, that it would be trying to drive the electric motor. And we wanted to make this machine so much easier and lighter to use that we've built in a really special drive system so that you're not having to drive that motor. And as you can see, it really is very easy. If there was resistance on that roller created by turning that motor as well, then it would be more likely to be scuffing the turf as we do that. Well, what advantage does that actually give us? What it means is, is that when I'm getting to the end of a run, I'm able to take my thumb off the drive button and actually just gently push the mower till I get to the end without having to crash into anything. When I get to the end of the row, I can also pull back the mower really easily in order to do a turn. And again, that just reduces the amount of scuffing that's going on as well. The, uh, the mower, of course, has all the normal advantages that we expect in the Allet rear roller. So we have a split rear roller on this 20-inch machine and on the 17-inch machine, and both are able to turn separately. When I drive that, well, this is the beauty of an electric machine, I don't have to worry about any spillage of fuel here, that what I'm able to do is to get constant drive to the roller but what I am able to do is to not create scuffage as I turn around at the end, making sure that I'm not wearing the turf out when I'm mowing as regularly as I need to do to get the great lawn that I want. The other feature is that we've designed the roller so that it extends beyond the end plate. And that means that I can pull this up so easily where I've got curbs or edges or steps that I need to move the mower up that I can actually pull this up to the step and then just lift it up on the roller without having to pick up the whole mower. The handlebar controls on this machine as well uh, is taking comfort and control of the mower to brand new levels. To start with, I can adjust the heights uh, just simply by moving this lever to the highest and the lowest position. I'm also able to telescope the handlebars like so and I can clip those back off again. I particularly like the high position. I'm six foot tall and this is if anything high for me but when I'm stood at this position with the mowing then I can see the cylinder and I'm lining that up as well with my last run. So I, I am able to get much greater levels of overlap accuracy as well when I'm standing in this position. The handlebar angles and where I grip is so much more comfortable. My natural position for my hands is exactly how I grip this mower and my controls are all around uh, my, my hand position. Uh, to engage the cylinder, I press down this button in the middle, nice and big, even with gloves on, and pull the bail bar up. And that engages my cylinder drive. If I let everything go, then everything fails to safe and I get regen braking on the cylinder as well, so that locks off and stops very much more quickly than you would normally expect. My rear roller drive is actually incorporated into two buttons on the handlebar. The two buttons, so I can use either my left or my right hand, and again, even with gloves, these are very easy to engage. And just by pressing these buttons, engages my drive to go forward. 
More importantly, and when we talked about controllability of this mower, I've got forward speed control. And that is nice big grip on this. And we're calling this the rotor shift system from Alit. And that allows me to either pre-select my speed from off all the way to maximum speed. Maximum speed on this machine is faster, and that is 3.5 miles an hour or 5.6 kilometers an hour. That is a good walking pace behind a mower, and it's unlikely you're gonna need that maximum speed, but it's there if you need it. You can slow down and speed up as you're mowing. So as you come into areas that are maybe more congested or more difficult to maneuver in, you can just slow the mower right down. And when you want to go back out into the open again and really get the pace up, you can adjust that, that, that uh, with, via the rotor shift, you can increase your speed. Uh, I can touch either of these, these buttons on either side, so even if it was my one hand was to get tired or if I want to control the mower with one hand rather than the other, I'm completely able to do that and do it really easily. When I put the mower handles into the top position, that actually stops the mower from working completely and I can't engage any drive, so let's call that the storage position. And what I'm also able to do is to be able to tip the mower back into a really solid position like this. And that allows me and gives me complete openness at the back here to be able to make any adjustments either to the rake, the roller or my blade adjustments so I can see exactly what's going on in here. Let's talk now about the range of cartridges we can fit in. Like I've said, to get a great lawn, you need to cylinder mow it, but there's more than that, and that's why we have this complete lawn care system all built into one. And each one of these cartridges does a slightly different job to give us different results depending on the time of year and what we want to achieve. The first and most popular cartridge is this spring tined cartridge here. We call this the Scarifier. The Scarifier, of course, drops in, changes over in 15 seconds or less uh, in this machine. And these gentle tines just rake out loose material and stand weed grasses and, and the grasses we want upright. Really versatile tool and also works really well at collecting leaves off the surface along with pine needles and to some extent pine cones and acorns, for instance, to keep our lawn nice and clean. The next cartridge is the vertical cartridge. This cartridge makes vertical cuts into the soil. And now that we can go deeper, the results we get are quite amazing with this. And it can, of course, be used for opening up a slot for overseeding as well, um, depending on what we're trying to achieve. But really a, a great cartridge. Uh, cutting stolons and rhizomes to get new growth in itself really keeps the lawn very healthy. A more aggressive cartridge, you can see these hooked blades. Uh, these hooked blades go into the soil and really fetch and remove thatch out of the surface. We've got a new brush for the sterling. This brush is more dense and is great for when we have worm casts, removing and leveling out worm casts. It's also very good for incorporating top dressing into the soil, into the sward. And also on a cricket wicket, it's really great for leveling out as well because it's just that much more aggressive. It can be used on hard surfaces because now we, do, we can get the lower heights of cut as well and we need to do some more work with that to find out actually exactly what we are able to do or not with that. 
We have an aerator cartridge as well. This cartridge is not driven, it doesn't have a pulley on the side. And if you've got a particularly delicate thatch that if you were to use any of these cartridges until you get your lawn really healthy, then you can use this aerator cartridge. It just rolls as you drive forward and that just puts a small amount of spikes into the surface to start to get that thatch layer to allow the water through um, and to start to reduce it so that we can then start to use more aggressive cartridges in themselves. And then finally, if I want a really fine cut then I can, and a low cut, then I can go for the 10 bladed cylinder. The 10 bladed cylinder now for the Sterling has the shore blade system but we've feathered off this front edge to be able to get much lower. And now we can get down to three millimeters mowing height with this uh, system. And uh, uh, this is really good for greens and wickets or people who want to have a golf green in their, uh, in their backyard. So in conclusion, what does the Sterling offer now to the lawn enthusiast? This is an expensive machine, but what you're able to achieve with it is like nothing that there is available on the market for the price that this is. It's about the highest levels of accuracy. It's about the tools that you need that a greenkeeper or a groundsman has available to him. You now have available within your own lawn you are going to be able to take your lawn to a new level, but do it with greater levels of comfort, greater levels of control, variable speed, variable depth. We're very proud of this product and uh, we really hope that you can get to your garden machinery dealer and see one of these products in action. Thanks ever so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And you can get more information from our website at www dot alit dot co dot uk